Go back to the village? No. All right, let's go. Better stop thinking and start climbing.
I wonder how we can reach out to the Azure military. Why are you so interested in them? Because they say the Azure military hires based on ability, regardless of status. That's certainly not how it works in Rashigal. Is that right? Yeah. All of Rashigal's officials are descended from nobility. Traditions are lovely and all, but that doesn't leave a lot of juicy gigs for mercenaries like myself. But I wouldn't want to live in Azure. The clans are always fighting amongst themselves. There's no way I'd be able to concentrate on my studies. Hmm. Different humans have such different priorities. And here you sit, above it all. Correct. I don't intervene in the affairs of human society. I made the right choice with my Lilium Orb. It's up to you to develop how you choose. Believe in yourself.
Who's next? Well done. All right, over already? Now that we're almost to Niakara, I'm getting curious. Is it a nice place? Hmm. Yes, I'm very fond of it. It has a certain kind of serenity. When I meditate there, it feels like my power is concentrated. Wow. Let's take five. All those rocks will murder on my feet. We can rest once we reach the village. Oh, come on, relax. Niakara isn't going anywhere, right? Rest a while. Oh, sure. <laughs> hey, I won't argue with that. Thanks, Alvin. You're a pretty considerate guy, aren't you? Well, I do have to admit you had me worried, kid. Trying to act all tough like that. Oh, yeah, is it really that obvious? Anyway, I really am fine. And I found that I'm pretty good at pushing all the complicated stuff out of my brain. Is that right? Who are you? You like her? Is she the one who caught your eye? All right, let her go. I could care less what you're here for. But she's my employer right now. Then stay back, unless you want me to kill your golden goose.
Alvin, look. Up there. That rock to the right. Can you hit it? Take a look. It could be the key to saving Mila. All right. You ready? Uh, yeah. Oh. You're just gonna watch her die then? With friends like that. Pan. And into the firefight. Come on, let's clean up this mess. It's charging! No fear. Demon face! Let's go! Roger! Final kill! One, Roger. Final kill. Hit. Let's go, Roger. Final kill. Demon fist. Demon fist. Let's go, Roger. Final kill. Demon fist. One, Roger. Final kill. Demon fist. Demon fist. Let's go, Roger. Final kill. Hit. Let's go, Roger. Final kill. We should practice chaining our attacks for the future. All right, not bad. So you spotted that monster camouflage as a boulder? Good eyes, kid. Did you ever consider what would have happened if the creature charged at you instead of that woman? It wouldn't have mattered either way. Alvin still would have gotten into that woman's blind spot. You thought of all the angles that quickly? <laughs> what are you, a tactical genius? Genius is a good word. Not many people can think that fast. Hey, it was nothing. Thank you, Jude. You too, Alvin. Hey! Where'd that woman go? Hold your horses, Mr. Honor Student. We're not gonna get anywhere if we spend all day worrying about the bad guys. Come on, let's get moving. That's quite the spectacle. What do you say? Up for a quick dip? If you're intent on that, I won't try to stop you. But I can see monsters waiting under the water. Well, that was something. I've never seen such a large monster before. Monsters who experience a mutation in their mana lobes can expand to massive sizes. You read that in a book? Yep. <laughs> Not much gets a rise out of you, does it? You're no fun at all. You didn't seem particularly surprised yourself. Well, that wasn't anything I haven't seen before. You've traveled around the world and seen all sorts of things, huh? 
All true, but I've never seen anyone pick a fight with a monster that big before. Well, I'm glad that we were able to show you a new experience. Hmm. Lucky me. So, any idea who that woman was? No clue. Although she did seem to know me. I imagine you mercenaries make a lot of enemies in your line of work. Although, I have to admit, she was really pretty. I never pegged you for the bad girl type, kid. Or maybe you just like older women. I don't know. Maybe.
We've arrived. So this is Nia Kara. Huh. I thought it would be fancier. Excuse me. Where's Ivor? Hmm? He went off to find Lord Maxwell and... Lord Maxwell? Yes, I have returned. I, I can't believe you deign to speak to me. I am unworthy. I guess she's the real deal. She's something, all right. Not everyone gets to road trip with a major deity. I had my doubts. Please relax. No need for formalities. You say Ivor isn't here? Yes, but he should have returned by now. We're worried about him. I see. He always did have a short temper. Please, return to your work. I need to perform the ritual to resummon the four at my shrine. But it would seem my handmaid is away. Would you mind lending a hand? What? You mean we can help you? I'm not exactly a religious scholar. It's nothing difficult. The village has four altars, each with a temporal stone. So you want us to bring those to the shrine you mentioned? Precisely. Why not just ask the villagers for help? You saw what just happened. Except for my handmaid, I don't really fraternize with the villagers. They can barely look at me, let alone hold a conversation. Ah, oh, the trials of godhood. Well, I guess a little physical labor won't kill us. Right, kid? We can handle it. Don't worry, Jude. I'll explain your predicament to the villagers after the ceremony. Please be patient for just a little longer. Uh, sure. Okay, let's get hunting for those temporal stones. You said they were in the village? Yes. Gather the stones and bring them to the shrine. It lies beyond the village. That mountain beyond the village sure is something. That's the Neokara Halamont. It's a special land where four spirit climbs meet.